Hello Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. So Aquarius, I'm going to be doing messages for the month of August. So we're going to see what's going to be taking place. Um, remember, everything is not going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also Aquarius, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. If you would like personal readings or a distance Ricky healing, the information is below in the description box so let's go ahead and tap in to your energy spirit give me some overall messages for Aquarius please overall messages for Aquarius overall energy okay so I have detox your life okay so for some of you um you need to reevaluate the people in your life um behavior patterns like anything that is holding you back it's time for you to um release and let go and then clear out the clutter also wanted to flip over so i'm going to take it so yeah this is just about you making room for the new aquarius yes and in order to get the new in order to receive your blessings you have to get rid of what no longer serves you so I feel like for some of you, you're going to be taking inventory of yourself as well as the people around you. Let's get some more energy. Spirit, give me some more energy for Aquarius, please. More overall energy for Aquarius. Oh, what is this? Oh, brown skin. Okay, so I feel like for some of you... um. I heard looking good and feeling good. So I feel like you're definitely going to be feeling yourself. I feel like you're just going to have like this boost of confidence. This is just you loving you, loving the skin that you're in. Um, I'm also getting like self-acceptance. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be um, pulling back from people that don't accept you. Whether it's the way that you look, um, beliefs, um, just your personality. Like anybody that doesn't align with you, anyone that you feel... Um, is being negative, so deep neg sending negative energy your way, you're going to be pulling back. So give me another energy, please, for Aquarius. Another energy for Aquarius. Oh, what is this? Oh, career moves. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, um, you could be switching careers in the month of August. I feel like for some of you, I heard love. I feel like you're going to move towards something um, that is more fulfilling for you. I feel like with this clear out your clutter, again, that's that reevaluation. Like, do I love what I do? Um, is this fulfilling? Is this a part of my purpose? So it's kind of like with this career moves, you're taking control over um, your path. I feel like you're going to want to do something that really makes you happy, that's more in alignment with you. For some of you, I heard like CEO, so you may be starting your own business. But I heard a leap of faith. So you're definitely going to be taking a leap of faith, being in that full energy, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and get another energy spirit tell me about brown skin for Aquarius sexual fantasies wanted to come out so I feel like um there's definitely going to be people that are desiring you you're definitely going to be the cat's meow a lot of people are going to be vying for your attention and you know it's all about the confidence Look at this, Muse. You are inspirational to someone. So yeah, I feel like by you being more confident, um, you're definitely going to be drawing a lot of attention. Some people, um, I heard jealous and envious. Some people may envy um, how you look. I also heard advice. I feel like you're motivational. Or you may do something that's very motivational, encouraging. Like, I'm just getting, like, this boost of confidence that's going to be taking place for you. I heard North Node. For some of you, you could be stepping into your North Node. I just see you taking a brand new path. 
in the month of August. And then I also have celebrating. There will be a reason to celebrate. So yes, I heard online activity. <laughs> so for some of you, I heard medium, a psychic medium. So for some of you, if you do anything in divination, have any type of online business platform, I feel like you're definitely going to have a reason to celebrate. I feel like for some of you, you know, in order to align with your purpose, you're going to have to detach from people. So you're going to be making those hard decisions, but you know that in the end, it's doing what's best for you. That's important. And I'm just also getting with the celebrating. Um, not everybody can celebrate with you, Aquarius. So yeah, I heard frenemies. So yeah, just make sure that you're watching your friend group. Not everybody's going to be happy for you. I heard jealousy and I'm actually seeing someone roll their eyes. So pay attention to what people say, how they say it and, you know, their body language. That'll tell you everything. If somebody's really happy for you or not. Give me a message for career moves. Yeah, I'm hearing level up. Tell me about career moves for Aquarius, please. Ooh, Aquarius. So I have three. I'm going to take it. So I have Halloween, something significant about this holiday. So yeah, there's some people that's going to be jealous of you, sending you evil eye, just really want to see you fall flat on your face. And it's like with this detox your life, clear out the clutter. God is telling you, you need to get rid of those people, family, friends, whoever it is, somebody you're in a relationship with. I don't care. Sometimes um, the person that despises you the most sleeps right next to you, is your spouse, is your lover. The mother, father of your children or child. So, yeah, it's like there are people who's not going to be happy for you. They're going to be preying on your downfalls as you continue to level up, as you continue to grow. But then look what came out in the reverse stubborn. Someone is very stuck in their ways. So I feel like with this being in the reverse, it's like you're no longer fighting against change. You're allowing God to lead you, to guide you. You're just um, accepting the process. And it's like by doing so, you're finally starting to see things move forward. You're finally starting to get the results that you desire. And then with cash flow, you got some money coming in. Money, money, money. A large sum of, a large sum of money. Be careful with this money because I feel like for some of you, you're going to have people who's going to try to come around just because of the attention that you get. Your popularity, your money. Who just wants to come around and take advantage of you. Who don't have good intentions. Again, clear out the clutter. Like You need to release people. I heard good hearted. Yeah, Aquarius, you may have a good heart and you may um, love whoever you have around you. Um, try to see the best in them. You may have a very long history with these people or this person, but God is saying, hey, I'm taking you somewhere and this person just can't go. So it's either you or them. And again, you need to choose yourself. Because trust me, if the shoe was on the other foot, that person wouldn't even be thinking twice about you. So let's go ahead and get you some spiritual messages. Give me some spiritual energy for Aquarius, please. Spiritual energy for Aquarius. Oh, what do we have? Beautiful sanctuary. It says... A sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, enter, and sit down on the throne of your own heart. Your sanctuary, your place of peace is already within you. You are your sanctuary. So it's like protect your peace, protect yourself. Protect your new beginning, Aries. Protect your sanctuary. Put yourself first. That's what all this is going to be about. Putting yourself first. Protecting yourself. Um, not just allowing anybody to step into your energy because everybody's not deserving of you. Let's get you a scripture for the month. A scripture for the month for Aquarius. Okay, 
So you got two in Pisces, I believe, got two as well. The first one says, do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly, Makai 6-8. So yeah, whatever you do, make sure that um, you do it fairly and show mercy. Just as you would like for God to show you mercy, be humble, especially as you continue to level up. Don't let it all go to your head because just as you got an Aquarius, you can lose it. And you be humble by showing gratitude, by giving back, by helping those um, in need. Just as somebody helped you get to the next level, because we never do anything by ourselves. There's always people that we meet along the way that help to guide us. You need to become that guide to somebody else. And then I have give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. First Chronicles 16 and 34. Yes, give thanks unto God for he is good and his love endures forever. So I'm getting like you are loved. Regardless of what's going on around you, regardless of who may not support you, know that your love, his love endures. It's never ending. It's everlasting. I'm getting um in vogue. Hold on to your love. So yeah, hold on to the love of God. That's what's going to get you through. That's what's going to see you through. Some of the most difficult times in your life and some of the best times in your life. It's God's love that's leading you all the way. So let's go ahead and pull you some relationship energy. I'm going to start with Aquarius singles. We're going to see what's going on in your love life, Aquarius. You're my last reading. For the monthlies. So here, give me some relationship energy for Aquarius singles. Okay, too many cards. Give me some messages for Aquarius singles, please. So contemplation, and it wanted to flip out in the reverse. So for some of you, you may no longer um, be thinking about someone. You're no longer going back and forth in your mind. You've already make, made a decision or you're going to be making a decision. Um, I'm going to take it in the reverse. Ladies, man, the player. So somebody could be deciding to give up their player ways to commit. They want to settle down. Tell me one more message for Aquarius, please. One more message for Aquarius. What is this? Non-committal. Okay, so this person was definitely non-committal. For some of you, though, you could be... Ah, okay. So for some of you, in the past, this person could have been non-committal. And um, definitely in that player energy, used to get what they want, you know, look good, can talk a good game. And, you know, men or women would melt. Women and men would give in to them, give in to the temptation. But I feel like now somebody is deciding to change their ways or this could be you finally deciding to change your ways. And I'm just looking at this non-committal, how he's sitting and smoking his cigar. It's like somebody's been reflecting a lot on their past, on, you know, where being um, a runner and not acting wisely when it came to relationships being in that knight of wands energy has gotten them and i feel like they may have been thinking about this for a long time like should i shouldn't i but somebody's finally going to be making a decision in the month of august i'm hearing um big pun i don't want to be a player no more let's clarify the messages
Spirit, give me a message for contemplation in the reverse, please. Oh, okay. The Six of Pentacles. So somebody's deciding to not invest in the situation, to no longer waste time anymore. Um, somebody could be literally selling away from a relationship. Yeah, I'm getting like, I can't do this. So somebody's like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Um, I don't want your love offer or I'm not, you know, I'm taking my love back from you, taking this offer back from you. I don't want to be here. Um, for some of you, this could definitely be someone from your past that you have history with, have a child or children with. But I feel like with this temperance, like it's just time for this situation to end. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But somebody's like, I don't want to invest anymore. Somebody's made up their mind and I can't make it up. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's like, I'm done. So for some of you, this could be you um, becoming single, moving out. I feel like with this Eight of Cups, for some of you, it took you a long time to do this. You had to go through a lot. You endured a lot to get you to this place um, where you're finally able to walk away. Like with the moon, you were definitely being guided. And I'm looking at like the rocks. Um, this relationship has had its ups and downs. Yeah, it has been very challenging. For some of you, it was challenging for you to leave. Like this person made it difficult. It's like you had to hop, you know, over this water to dry land. But you're finally able to move on. And I'm just looking at the backpack. It's like for some of you, it's like you took what you could. Literally. Tell me about ladies, man. But somebody's like, I can't do this anymore. Tell me more about ladies, man. For Aquarius, the Page of Cups. So somebody wants to come in with a love offer. Somebody finds you very attractive. Aquarius, your energy, the star. Yeah, somebody sees you as being very beautiful, handsome, very healing. And it's like, I'm getting like you mind your business. <laughs> so it's kind of like, for some of you, like you're a loner. Um, you stay to yourself. You, you know, you mind the business that pays you. And this person likes that. You're very much like um, connected to nature. For some of you, you can have um, very significant earth placements in your charts. You're, you're connected to animals. It's like you embody peace and this person loves it. Like with this nine of cups, I feel like this person is just, they're satisfied with you. Like with this decision that they want to make when it comes to coming in with an offer, like this person knows they're making the right decision. Like there's no question about it. Like this person knows that they're offering to the right person and it's like, why not you? So it's like, if I'm going to give up my player ways, if you know, I'm going to throw this black book away for anyone, it's going to be you. Yeah, somebody's like deciding to let down their guards, no longer fighting against how they feel. Yeah, somebody sees you as very stable, single, independent. Like I said, you're just focusing on yourself. Somebody um, with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, they could also feel like they wasted a lot of time. I heard they may feel like they wait made you wait too long but they're coming in like with the truth they're definitely going to be expressing how they feel they're going to let you know um what they want from you i heard fairness so i feel like this person coming in there they want to be fair with you they want to be just they want to do what's right give me another energy for ladies man in the reverse. Mm. The Empress in the reverse. So for some of you, um, this person could have got caught up. Or this could be you, Aquarius. You could have got caught up. You could be dealing with a Libra or Taurus. But there could be someone coming saying that they're pregnant. Um, 
or someone um, could be giving up their player ways um, in order to settle down with the mother of their child or be with someone because of a pregnancy. But with this Empress in reverse, this is somebody who's very low vibrational, very toxic, um, who's not really, you know, the best mom. Um, somebody can be very selfish. Um, somebody um, who also, okay. <laughs> I am not going to say that. <laughs> Listen, this is spirit saying this. That, you know, who's only good for laying on her back. That's what spirit said. Like, you know, really, um, this person is just lazy. And I, I'm, I'm getting um, nothing in life is free. What is that song called? Um... Oh my gosh. I know you want to get paid tonight, but I'm trying to get... I can't think of the song. Um, oh my gosh. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me see. I think it's Little John. Nothing in life is free. But that's the song. Like for some of you, um, yeah, it is Little John. So nothing in life is free. So, um, and it's an old song. So, but pretty much like this person just could have been sleeping with you or sleeping with this other energy because of money. Like, this could have been a very transactional relationship and someone just ended up getting pregnant. Somebody could be wanting to give up their player ways because of the pregnancy, because they see what they got themselves into, who they got connected to, and that was just kind of like their wake-up call. Give me some energy for non-committal. Non-committal. Oh, okay. So I have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, for some of you, there's somebody coming in, but they ain't offering you much. Like literally just this little pinnacle. This relationship is going to be a stalemate. Yeah. This relationship is definitely not going anywhere. This person is not going to invest. For some of you, um, you could be dealing with a water sign feminine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like um, with this Queen of Cups energy, I'm just looking at how she's stroking the cup and like this person knows how to draw you in. This person knows how to really um, get you emotionally invested or get people emotionally invested in them. But again, it never works out. They never give to the connection. They just offer you this little pinnacle and that's it. It never goes anywhere. So for some of you, that's who's coming in. So be very mindful. Use your discernment when it comes to this energy. Let's get some messages for Aquarius couples. Spirit, give me some messages for Aquarius couples. Energy for Aquarius couples. What do I have? I want you. Alrighty. I have conflict. It came out in the reverse. I'm going to leave it. So somebody's deciding to um, no longer fuss and fight. Somebody wants to make up. Give me one more message, please. For Aquarius One more message for Aquarius. Okay, what do I have? Oh, dating. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify the messages. There's, um, For some of you, you may be finding out that your significant other is interested or seeing someone else. Somebody that they are highly attracted to. Who they find very alluring, very beautiful. 
I feel like with this planning in the reverse, like this is something you definitely are not expecting. And then look at him with this mask. It's like there's a lot of things that he's hiding. He could be hiding or she could be hiding their emotions for someone else. Yeah, and then we have water sign in the back. So this could be a water sign, masculine, feminine, but there's definitely someone hiding how they feel about another energy. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about I want you. For Aquarius, tell me about I want you. I am getting with this Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This There is someone who you're connecting to. Like they want to take care of you. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> Seven of Swords, like Five of Pentacles. This person's not coming in on no nonsense. They're coming in and they want to take care of you. This person is going to want to spoil you. Yeah. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Look at this. I can't. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody's coming in and they're being very honest, truthful about their intentions. Or so you're already with this person. This is the couples. And like whatever this person is telling you is the truth. They really do want to be there for you. Financially help you. Um, yeah, I'm getting um, the song Lean On Me. Uh, we all need someone to lean on or somebody to lean on. Like you can lean on this person. Um, they really do want to be here. They really do. I heard finance you. So yeah, they really do want to take care of you. Um, they are the man or the woman that they portray themselves to be. Like there's nothing hidden. Like this person. I'm getting like stand up guy, stand up girl. They're very honest. I'm also hearing law abiding, so that may be important to someone. Well, it should be important, you know, law abiding. Um, I'm also hearing doesn't have any criminal record. Okay, so for someone, you have a list <laughs> of criteria that, you know, you want your significant other to meet. So Spirit is telling you that this person does check all your boxes. Yeah, because somebody's like, don't have any criminal record and don't have this and don't have that. So, yeah, um, this person does check all of your boxes. They are who they say they are. Yeah, they're not holding anything back. Um, I heard forthright. Yeah, this person is being honest. Tell me about conflict in the reverse. Conflict in the reverse for Aquarius. What do we have? Ooh, the Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, you work with this person. You may be collaborating with this person on some type of work project. Let's clarify. Yeah, we got this Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles out here. For some of you, you could be meeting someone at work. I feel like with this conflicts in reverse, where you're probably thinking that it's going to be issues to have a relationship when it comes to your job. Um, it's not. I feel like for someone like I'm just looking at this eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles like you and this person may like work in different buildings or um, in different departments. So it may not it's not going to be an issue when it comes to you and this person having a relationship. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, Four of Swords. You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. With this um, Ten of Cups, the Four of Aquarius, your energy, and the Four of Pentacles. Oh, and the Six of Swords. Somebody um, could be walking away, could be um, ending a relationship, a marriage, a higher level of commitment. In order to have a new beginning, pulling back their energy. For some of you, um, this person may have recently gotten a divorce or gotten out of a relationship. Give me a message for the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles for Aquarius. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. So I have the Three of Swords, the Moon, the Pisces, Cancer Energy, and the Seven of Wands. You know what? For some of you, you're going to find out that this person um, was talking to somebody, like used to talk to someone or is currently talking to someone that you work with. Yeah, with this three of swords in the reverse, like this person may have put you in a third party situation, may have put you in competition. Yeah, but this was hidden from you. But I heard the truth shall come to light. And with the seven of wands, like you're going to put up your guards with this person. You're going to set boundaries. For some of you, you're going to become very defensive or this other energy is. So yeah, for someone, you're going to find out that your partner is seeing someone that... He or she works with third party situation, whether or not you work with your significant other, they're dealing with someone else at work. Yeah, a tower at the bottom of the deck. This is definitely going to be a tower moment, Scorpio energy. Yeah, this is going to create a very huge ending, a lot of upheaval as well. I'm also getting um, talk around town office gossip so yeah people are definitely going to be talking about this for some of you you're in a higher level of commitment with this person you share a home with this individual yeah you're definitely in a relationship for some of you with this four of pentacles i feel like you have been noticing that your person has been holding back a lot lately like there's just been some type of change that you um have noticed i'm hearing like um you don't do what you used to do so yeah they've been pulling back from you and you've been wondering why, and you're about to find out why. Tell me about dating. Messages for dating, please. For Aquarius. Oh, the Emperor. So for some of you with this emperor with this emperor in the reverse, you could be dealing with the father of no. This person could be a father. But I don't feel like this is the father of your children, but this person could have children or just be a low vibrational masculine energy. Um for some of you, you'll be finding out that this person is already in a commitment. I feel like this person um, doesn't take care of their responsibility. So if they have children, you're going to find out that this person doesn't take care of their children. They're not a good dad. I'm getting like, I heard a low beat. So this person could be a deadbeat father. Um, this person could also owe child support as well. I feel like this person looks the part, but like their life is like very chaotic. I'm getting like their life is in shambles. Tell me more about dating. For Aquarius. Oh yeah. Everything is fine in the reverse, Ten of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, this is what I'm getting. Okay, so this person has a lot of bodies. Body count. Okay. The energy that I'm feeling is that this is the type of person that goes from woman to woman. And um, will make a baby. And then kind of like leave the woman out in the cold to... Um, take care of the child like this is like an absentee father so when you first meet this person like he makes it look good like he's gonna be there and so he gets you pregnant and then he leave I heard around town children so this person has a lot of children this person really does get around this person has left a lot of destruction has hurt a lot of people along the way Yeah, this person's very toxic. You need to be very careful because, yeah, it's going to be something very shocking that you're going to find out about this person. And for some of you, you're going to be finding out that this person likes to sleep around and that they have a lot of children. 
that they don't take care of, that they don't provide for. So yeah, you're definitely um, entertaining this person, dating this person. Um, you could have recently met this person, but yeah, um, that's what you're going to be finding out. Like there's a lot that is hidden. There's a lot to be discovered here. Let's clarify the emperor and then we'll move on to your career energy. Tell me about the emperor for Aquarius, please. For some of you, you can definitely be dealing, dealing with a fire sign. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, heavy on the Aries. Tell me about the Emperor in the reverse. Yeah, Ace of Cups in the reverse. This person ain't offering love. All they want to do is sleep with you. And then they're going to break your heart. They're going to betray you. They're going to leave you out in the cold. And I'm getting something about pregnancy for some of you. I'm getting two messages. For some of you, you're going to find out that you're pregnant from this person. And look how she's looking up at the phone like this person not going to respond. They're not going to answer your phone calls. This person, if they do respond, they may say something hurtful. Like they don't care. I'm also seeing in my third eye like a blood stain right here. So for some of you, um, you may end up getting pregnant but having a miscarriage. Definitely my condolences. But yeah, this person isn't offering a relationship. This person is just about games. They look the part, but once you dig deeper, you find out that, you know, this person isn't anything that, they crack, that they're cracked up to be. Yeah, like everything is a lie. And they have good presentation skills, but when it's time to back it up, they fall way short. Let's get some energy for your career. Give me some career messages for Aquarius, please, for the month of August. Career messages for the month of August. I have the seven of swords, the nine of wands. Okay, so somebody's definitely being deceptive, plotting and planning. Oh, yeah. The hangman, somebody's coming up with a plan. Pisces energy. Give me one more message, please. Somebody trying to get away with something. I, f I heard on um, protect yourself. So I feel like you're going to be in the, in the energy of protecting yourself or you're being called to protect yourself from this person. Okay, what do I have? The hangman came right back out. Yeah, so somebody's planning. Somebody's thinking of a master plan. Somebody trying to get away with something. And I heard, pin it on you, Aquarius. So there's somebody at your job who's trying to get away with something and they're trying to pin it on you. Yeah. So you need to make sure that you're protecting yourself. Um, you're dotting your I's, crossing your T's. Just pretty much stay away from this person. Because look at like this hangman. I just feel like somebody's going to get away with something, going to try to pin it on you, get you in trouble, get you locked up. And this person just sitting over here like, you know, like, ah, I got away with it. Like, just without a care in the world. Be careful. Tell me about the Seven of Swords for Aquarius. The Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, you have, this could be regarding a new opportunity, a new beginning. Um, Ten of Wands. This is going to allow you to take a huge weight off of you. This is something that you've been waiting on. The Wheel of Fortune to balance out in your favor. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to steal money. Trying to steal um, a promotion from you. Trying to block you from getting a raise. Yes. Yeah, somebody's trying to take your money. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to steal your opportunity. Aquarius. Somebody's trying to steal your opportunity. Somebody's not playing fair. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Somebody's very sneaky. Four of Swords. Yeah. Somebody is very sneaky. Um, I feel like this person just like sits and think about how they're going to betray you. How they're going to backstab you. I feel like this all this person thinks about, like it stresses them out. And with the Six of Swords, look at her eyes. Like you can't trust this person. It's like she's looking like, where are you taking me? Yeah, this person is going to betray you. For some of you with the Eight of Pentacles, this person may be trying to get you to lose your job. Yeah, so you don't have anywhere to go. Like, <sighs> somebody might not be able to find work with this Three of Wands, or they want to put you in a position where you can't find work with this Strength card, Leo energy. You may have to stand up for yourself, Aquarius. For some of you with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this could have been a group of people coming up against you. Yeah, trying to stop your work. trying to stop any opportunities from coming in wanted you to be stuck let's clarify spirit tell me about the ace of pentacles for aquarius the ace of pentacles for aquarius the ace of pentacles for aquarius what is this the four of pentacles listen you're about to be given something that somebody's trying to steal your opportunity for some of you you're about to be given a promotion you're about to be you know making a lot of money you're about to be making a lot of money aquarius and this stresses somebody else out. Somebody's planning on how can they sabotage what it is that you that you have coming in for you. And again, some of this is, I mean, for some of you, this is a group of people. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, page of wands. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to have a new beginning. Tell me more about this four of swords. Look what came out. The Six of Swords. Somebody's trying to figure out how they can get you to leave. Like somebody wants what you have. Like covet. Somebody wants to covet. When it comes to you. Somebody wants your life. Somebody wants what you have. Somebody wants your opportunity. Somebody wants to see how can they get you to leave. That's what somebody's trying to do. How to get you up out of here. Tell me about somebody feels like with this four of pentacles, things come to you too easily. You're always, you know, getting new opportunities. You're always getting the promotion. You're always getting the compliments. Like somebody in their feelings. I just heard who do that voodoo that you do. For some of you, this person could be doing voodoo spell work. To sabotage you. I'm also hearing something about corruption. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands for Aquarius. The Star. So somebody could do something online. Have a platform. Aquarius, this is your energy. Things are definitely going to be working out favorably. A lot of things are just... Yeah, it's just your time. It really is. Look at this angel blowing the trumpet like yeah i feel like um i heard like attention so you're going to be receiving a lot of attention in the month of august aquarius with whatever you do online um whatever um you're doing when it comes to like your public status yeah a lot of people are going to be paying attention to you give me another energy for the nine of wands for aquarius the nine of wands for Aquarius. For some of you, you could be a nurse. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's a nurse. 
I heard a nurse practitioner. Somebody could be becoming a nurse practitioner in the month of August. The high priestess. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Yeah, somebody's all the way tapped in. Somebody is very spiritual. Somebody's a healer. Somebody possesses psychic abilities. Somebody's protected. You're protected. Whatever it is that you do for your career, God just wants you to know that you're protected. So somebody could be worried, stressing out about their career, the direction they're going in, but you're protected. Yeah. Somebody is definitely trying to steal from you, trying to take money from you. Somebody's trying to steal money from you. But whoever this person is, they're going to be receiving karma. You're protected, Aquarius. Yeah. Like your enemy or enemies will be defeated. Five of swords in the reverse. Yeah. Give me an energy for the star. Oh, the three of cups and the two of pentacles. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrated. Spirit says you're going to be celebrated. Whatever it is that you do, I'm getting like people are in awe. Because I'm just looking at like the different, the different stripes and what he has around his waist. It's like whatever you do, people are going to be amazed by it. Like amazed by your talents, your gifts. Like, you're just very different, um, very authentic. I heard, um, I've never seen anyone like you before. So, yeah, whatever it is that you do, um, whatever it is that you make, I heard design for some of you. For someone, you could be in fashion design, but people are going to be like, I've never seen that before. Like, there's something that you do, um, or I should say how you do it, is what's going to make you stand out from the from the others. Tell me about the high priestess. But whatever it is, Aquarius, it's protected. Whatever you do is protected. Tell me about the high priestess, please. The five of swords. I feel like for some of you, you already know that people are in competition with you. Yeah. You already know that people are in competition with you. Um, whoever, like I said, is in competition with you, whoever's trying to come up against you, backstab you, they will be getting karma for some of you. Um, it may have came in slowly. It may have taken a while. You may have had to wait for this. But yeah, the people will be reaping whatever they have sown for themselves. Let's get some energy for the hangman. Tell me about the hangman for Aquarius, please. The hangman for Aquarius. The king of swords in the reverse. Okay, so whoever um feel like they got away with something because that's what i'm getting with this hey man like they didn't make a good decision somebody didn't think it through clearly and yeah somebody gonna end up getting caught up because they ain't think it through clearly somebody thought they had a good plan but you know like the plan backfired like there was some holes in that plan Somebody didn't see something coming. Tell me about the hangman. Yeah, look at this. The eight of wands in the reverse and the eight of the ace of wands in the reverse and the eight of wands. And I heard scot free. So somebody gonna feel like they got away with some scot free, but no, 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 no. Somebody's getting some bad news here. Eight of wands, yeah. Somebody's not gonna be able to go anywhere to <laughs> Whatever opportunity this person thought they was going to get, it's not happening whatsoever. Somebody's getting bad news. Like whatever they had planned, whatever they thought was going to work, it, no, nah, it, it wasn't going to work. No, not at all. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. 
Yeah, somebody feel like they got, look at this. Six of Wands in reverse. This person ain't having no victory whatsoever. I'm getting for some of you, this could be somebody that wants to be like you, try to copy you. Yes. Wanted to steal your shine and ain't nobody going to be paying attention to this person. Yeah, if anything, like their status, their reputation is going to go down while you continue to go up, Aquarius. Yeah, I heard backfire. So yeah, it's going to backfire onto this person. They're not going to see victory. It is not going to be a success. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands in the reverse for Aquarius. Look at it. I can't make the devil and the fool. So Aquarius, your energy, and then we have yeah, Capricorn. So someone someone was being led by the devil <laughs> to do this. Somebody thought they was gonna get away with it too. Yeah, somebody I heard mischief. Somebody engages in a lot of mischief. Um like a lot of play. Somebody's very childish, childlike. Um, somebody didn't think they were going to get caught. I heard um, got caught with their hands up. And I also heard got caught in the cookie jar. So somebody could have um, been stealing. Thievery. But yeah, no, somebody's going to get some bad news. Like, mm -mm. whatever they think they're going to get away with. And I heard blame it on you, Aquarius. It's not going to work. Somebody's literally being led by the devil. Like, I'm getting, um, literally, this person could hear voices because I just heard the devil speaks to me. Yeah, so somebody, um, somebody's mind could be gone. Like, somebody could literally, um, be under some type of demonic energy, have some type of demonic attachment to them. So Aquarius, let's get you some final messages. First, I'm going to pull some self-care energy for you. Spirit, give me a self-care message for Aquarius. A self-care message for Aquarius, please. Oh, what do I have? Family, okay. So Aquarius, it's going to be very important for you to spend time with your family, nurture um, those family bonds. I'm also getting something about a tree. So for some of you, you could be um, looking up your family lineage or you could literally, I'm just, I got this for another um, sign also, but somebody could literally be purchasing like, you know, one of those family trees that you may put up on the wall and could be, um, you know, gathering information to complete one of those or pictures. But yeah, family is definitely going to be very important to you in the month of August. Um, and just make sure you're spending time with your children, hugging your children or child, letting them know how much you love them. Yeah, cultivate a loving energy. That's going to be very important for you. Let's get one more. Spirit, give me one more message for Aquarius, please. One more message for Aquarius for the month of August. One more message for Aquarius. Okay, too many. <laughs> Give me, okay, Aquarius. You have a lot of messages and they keep coming out. So I'm just going to take them four messages. Let's get started. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing, cresting moon. So Aries, you're going to find things are going to start picking up for you, especially when it comes to your career, any type of projects, passion projects that you have, things are going to start speeding up for you. You're finally going to start to see the results of your work pay off. And then I have don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So yeah, her egotistical. So Aquarius, if you're holding on to any type of ego, let it go. Be humble. Yes, just like the scripture said, make sure that as you continue to rise, because it's very easy to get an inflated ego as you continue to level up, you know, 
some people do forget where they come from and then you know god has to bring them back down to where they came from so that they can remember but as long as you remain humble and have a gracious spirit you will be okay i'm also getting for this person like yeah this person who thinks they got away with something or they're going to get away with something you know they're letting their pride get in the way um i'm getting like this celebrated too soon type of energy and then we have balanced spirituality and practicality full moon and pisces so yes aquarius you know it's okay to be you know spiritual it's beautiful to you know um embrace spirituality and make that a priority when it comes to your life you know but at the same time just make sure that you know you are being practical making practical decisions um you know trusting your intuition but at the same time like um being realistic when it comes to your choices and i'm also getting something like looking at fish about a healthy balance yeah so yeah make sure that you um have a healthy balance um, when it comes to your life and then lastly i have surrender to the divine full moon so yes give it over to god whatever it is in the beginning was talking about it's time to clean up be the clean up woman or clean up man when it comes to your life so surrender whatever you have to so that you don't have any blockages because people will try to delay you just out of jealousy envy just because it's not them or they wasn't chosen so don't make it any harder on yourself than it has to be. Just turn it over. Turn it loose. Set um, this person or these people free. So Aquarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.